My dad is a, a veterinarian. My grandma always said, we, we have a doctor in the family, but it's a horse doctor. So I got to be the real doctor. Medical school was at the University of Colorado, allowed me to really grow as a, as a human, as an individual. I think the human brain is kind of the final frontier. We, you know, to be honest with you, we don't really know much about the human brain, even at, even at this point. So uh, I was really attracted to behavior and the idea that we could um, understand how the human brain works. One of the things we have in, in Las Vegas is a, is a world-class organization, the Cleveland Clinic. I think there's anything quite like this in the country. The ability to, to have a holistic care of patients um, is something we do here and it's something that I, I couldn't find in a job anywhere else. It's just, it's just been a no-brainer for me to, to remain here in Las Vegas and grow with the, the center that I'm, I'm working in. My days are, are challenging. Um, they're exciting. I'm, I'm excited to go to work uh, every day. My job is, is, is split between both clinical care and research and I get to do it in a, in a world-class facility mentored by some of the best neurologists in the world. I could have a bad day, you know, maybe an email doesn't go through or I'm, I'm overworked with deadlines, but when I see patients that are dealing with these diseases, it doesn't compare. All patients have unique things that stand out about them. Um, but I think for me, what's really been eye-opening is the sacrifices that patients' families have made to help them deal with these diseases. My parents have been really integral in, in instilling these values that I have. I think my dad really giving me the skill of, of hard work and my mom empathy and kindness that I've both picked up on. And there's so many people to, to single out one individual uh, is hard. Um, you know, but I think there is an individual that works here, Dr. Wint, Dylan Wint, who has been a particularly close mentor of me, both professionally and personally, and he's somebody I look up to in the way he carries himself and the way he treats patients and the way he administers to the center. And he's really been uh, a, just a, a remarkable person just to be around. Oftentimes we don't, uh, we don't appreciate the so, sort of support staff that allows uh, physicians to do their job, so I hope that they can take in uh, that award as, this award as well and, and see that as a reflection that, that, that they've made a really positive impact on me. Well, mentoring uh, is really important for me because it's the key to where I am in my career. So I need to turn that around and, and give that to the next generation. My favorite way to give back to the community is, is primarily through educational events. I like to do manual work myself, so I've been known to do some uh, uh, projects as well in the community. I like to do that kind of stuff. Aaron Ritter is a wonderful human being. Layer on intelligence, innovation, compassion, and empathy. And you certainly have the makings of a fine physician. Congratulations, Dr. Ritter. Thank you for all that you're doing for people with dementia. It's going to be a doctor like you that's going to find the cure someday. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Felicidades and God bless you. Aaron, congratulations. Um, I'd like to say that you're a lot like me, someone who's a bit of a misfit, who didn't find that the conventional training was the way to go. But you know, when I look at you, um, I actually think that you're more like what I would have liked to be at your age. Um, the dedication, the, the kindness, the generosity that you show are really things that usually take so long in someone's career to develop, and yet you are an example of all of those already. I am really proud of you for getting this award and I'm honored to have been a part of your developing career. Congrats. Hi Dr. Ritter, congratulations. You have inspired all of us here and you've earned it and you deserve it and we love you. I want to congratulate you on the award. No one deserves it more than you. You work enormously hard. You do great with patients. We're so proud to have you as part of the LaRuvo team. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations! We're so proud of you! Does the future hold? That's a really that's a really good question. I think that's an exciting I think that's an exciting question, and I think that's um, what motivates me as well uh, every day. Is that we don't know what the future holds. We don't have any other options other than to to make some progress, and I'm really excited about that. And I and I think the the big thing is. The Raiders in the Super Bowl and the Knights in the Stanley Cup in the same year. I think that's what the future holds for the city.